Yeah, it was something from the eye, to be honest. Um, we tried a lot of things. Um, we tried to go death early to them because they were hitting the ball nicely. Um, they made a lot of good balls that was well executed, looked bad by just very good placement and some stroke play. So it was difficult from a captaincy point of view to to try a lot of things because you don't want to try too much on a wicket like this. Um, this weekend in T20 cricket has produced some big scores and it's a very difficult score or field to defend it. So it was tough. Um, I will go back tonight and do a lot of homework and see where we can improve and to make some new plans. Thanks, Rocky. Uh, hi, Heinrich. Um, you made mention of the fielding being poor. Um, it's sort of been general theme with the with the Proteas this season across the different formats. Um, I was wondering what what you guys are discussing and, and talking about in trying to make it to, to make it better, and you know what needs to change to improve it. Look, we we strive not to be so bad in the field. Um, at training, we are brilliant. Um, I think it's guys maybe trying too hard um, and not being calm enough in the field. Um, it's something we will address again. Um, but yeah, it's been a trend that we have to get rid of. Um, so yeah, that's a valid point. So can you so and a reminder please to indicate on the chat panel if, if you would like to ask a question? Um, thank you very much, Spokazi. Um, Heinrich, um, hard luck for tonight's results. What? Can you guys do to rectify the result out of Friday's last game? Yeah, score more runs. Um, like I said, the wicket was very good. We were maybe 10 runs short and um, looked they batted brilliantly. Um, we didn't have enough answers for the way they batted. Um, Barbara is a special batter. So when a card like that comes off, it's very difficult to defend on this ground. So. We, we have to sit down and maybe look at a couple of things. Um, we will definitely do that tonight because it's quite a short turnaround once again. Um, but one thing is for sure, the boys are up for it. Um, we really want to make sure we draw the series. Hi, Heinrich. Um, do you think there might be a few um, changes to the team? Do you think that's maybe something that, that could come into the equation um, for the last game? And if so, uh, in, in which department and, and have you thought about that? Yeah, look, um, we just got off the field, so it's difficult to answer. Um, I will have chats uh, about you tonight, but it's once again not my department. It's um, the coaches and the selectors part to make those decisions. Um, but yeah, for, from our side, I don't feel the need to change the team. Um, we also need some consistency in that selection part as well. Topic. Hello, Hendrik. Um, um, can you say whether you could have done something differently while Baba was batting? I mean, as a team, or were you just, is it just a case of he was too brilliant on the day? It's difficult to say it now, or to answer that question now. Um, you always feel that you can do something different. Um, what it is, I don't know. Um, we've got not set plans, but you have to go on your gut um, at the night. And once again, he batted brilliantly, but we, we could have done a couple of things differently. Is that uh, might be execution on some plans and some balls. That's a different story. Um, like I said, we have to go back and go reflect on this game and see where we can or could have improved. Okay. Andrew Hughes mentioned wanting uh, consistency in selection um, but would you like a few more wicket taking options in the field obviously on a good pitch when the run rate is just uh, getting out of control like that you know is wicket taking the answer maybe 100 percent. The, the only question is how do you take those wickets on on a surface like this um, there's no turn the wicket is quite skidding on the slow balls not gripping um, and the ball travels at the high felt. So it's difficult to to really strike on this field. Um, I reckon the way you get your wickets is for, to be defensive on this field and to make sure they can't um, back easily at 10 and over like they did tonight. Um, it's more bowling pressure by executing your ball. So 
two nights ago the guy struck early so then it was different tonight it's a better surface to bat on so those guys need to or the bowlers need to work a little bit harder it's a it's a tough place to come ball at deep heading cricket uh, Heinrich, is there an issue with Andile Petlequayu? I mean, um, he's bold. I think two overs in the whole series thus far. Um, no, not at all. Um, I think his confidence is a little bit um, low of the last while, but he's, he's picking it up. And to, I just had no need for him to bowl now. We've got a specialist guys in the positions that we are bowling them at this moment. So he's getting back there. We definitely will look to use him probably the next game. And finally, Phyllis. Henrik, you, you obviously haven't played in all the games uh, I'm about to ask you a question about, but South Africa have been on the other side of three of the four highest successful chases in, in T20 cricket. Uh, I'm just wondering if, if you can put your finger on on why that might be the case and, and what it is that maybe uh, teams feel they can chase big totals against South Africa. Yeah, very, very tough question to answer. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, tonight it was just a case of some brilliant batting from their side. Um, we really try to do um, out there filing a lot earlier tonight. Um, it didn't buy off. Um, a little bit of execution and some brilliant batting in between made it very difficult. Um, like, like you said, I wasn't part of the previous game, so difficult to ask those questions. But um, yeah, we have to kind of bounce back early or in a couple of days' time and really look to 